Hi Anna, my name's Fiona, I'm from the West Midlands and I'm an office worker, an executive assistant and also a practicing homeopath and I am 54 years old today. Um, we went for a lovely lunch earlier which, which was a surprisingly pleasant experience because I wasn't quite sure what to expect but everyone in the restaurant was relaxed. Um, the only difference being that the waiters and waitresses looked like they were all about to do a spot of welding in the kitchen. Uh, but it was great to get out and about and see people enjoying life. I have enjoyed all the videos that have been uploaded. I'm glad they go up gradually so I can watch them and not feel too overwhelmed. I can spare half an hour a day. And I resonate with all of them. I agree with all of them. There isn't much more I can add to everything that's already been said. Um, but where I wanted to come from is as um, an alternative health practitioner, um, what I'm hearing is that people feel like the NHS is shut and they can't access services. So as we go through the summer and fast approach autumn winter, which is gonna be a difficult season, um, I just wanted to let people know that there are alternatives way of ways to um, support your own health through these times. This is by no means any substitute for professional medical advice, but if you are finding it difficult to access that, then there are alternative ways. Uh, for me personally, I don't know what I would have done without homeopathy for me and my family. And I've made a list here of all the things that I've treated just within my own family. So these range from the coughs, colds, flu, to chest infection, ear infections, headaches, indigestion, hay fever, an allergic reaction to peanuts, bumps, bruises, sprains, physical traumas, um, also emotional traumas, griefs and anxiety. And that's just within our own family. Um, as I say, I don't know what I would have done without homeopathy. Uh, the beautiful thing is it is so individualised. Um, we don't treat diseases, we treat the person and people exhibit different symptoms. So you might get a child who throws a very high fever very quickly or you might get somebody older who gradually develops a fever over a few days and these would be two completely different remedies, so completely individualised. Um, so I wanted to offer people some hope and if they wanted to find any more information they can look at the British Homeopathic Association online and from there you can find a homeopath in your area. And I want to thank you Anna for uploading all the videos and thanks to everyone who's uploaded a video. I will continue to watch them. I've enjoyed everyone so far. I actually feel quite reassured that you're all out there and that we all think the same. And um, I hope everybody stays strong, stay well and I look forward to watching more videos. Thank you.